Hi, my name is Megan Gidley and I'm the Director of Marketing with Connect. Welcome to another Get Connected podcast. Today we are at the Mid-America Trotting Sale of 2022 and we are going to be asking people why they're excited about the sale this year. David Schmidt, thank you for taking the time to chat with me. Um, This is your first year attending the Mid-America Sale, but you've attended a lot of other sales. So what is your favorite part of attending sales? Uh, seeing all the beautiful horses, I guess. Are there a lot of them at all the sales you go to? Yes. Is this the biggest one you've ever been to, or? Uh, yeah, probably. Awesome. Thank you. Sure. Harvey Miller, thank you for chatting with me. Uh, what excites you the most about the Mid America Trotting Sale? Well, what excites me is uh, what brought me here was uh, we had there's two horses in this auction that we raise. So that's what excited me to, to, to got me here. How old are those horses now? Uh, by this coming January, they would be four years old. Oh, wow. So this yeah. is so personal for you. Oh, yeah. Is it nice yeah. to see them all grown up and oh, yeah. raised? Yep. And they're in good health. Awesome. That's Thank good. you. I'm with Gary Otto right now. And Gary, we were wondering, when you're selecting a horse that you want to bid on, what is something that will make you walk away from the, that horse? Uh, too short of a neck would be one thing that I would walk away from. Why is that important? Um, just a better headset. And, I mean, it gives you more curve to the neck if they have a longer neck. Awesome. So. Thank you. I'm here with Lamar Helmuth. And, uh, Lamar, how many years have you been attending this sale? Five years. Five years, so since the start. Yeah. What keeps you coming back year after well, year? Just the fun. It's just good socializing with everyone for a couple days. We usually come three days and just have fun. Just Good quality of people good around? Good quality people, good quality horses. Just, yeah, it's always fun. Thank you. I'm here with Richard Slaybaugh from Cedar Lane Stables. Richard, if you were talking to someone who's never attended a sale like this but wants to, what advice would you give them to help them succeed or feel more comfortable at the sale? I would advise them to get them a catalog and and, and get the catalog, study it, read it, get involved and come and just be a part of it and just observe and and then just observe the horses and just just ask a lot of questions if there's questions that they don't have, that they answer they don't have. I think that would really get them involved. Thank you. Yeah. We have a little bit of a special guest here with us, Mr. Mark Byler. Mark Byler is one of our Connect bidders. So when you call into our toll-free number and you want to place a bid on a horse because you can't attend the sale, Mark's one of our guys that'll place the bids for you. This is Mark's fourth year attending the Mid-America sale. So Mark, what lot did you buy today? So we bought several, but the one that really stands out is lot number 11, um, Carnival Destiny. How much did lot number 11 go for? Uh, 70,000. And what do you think made the customer want to buy this horse? Was there something special? There was. She was a proven roadster show horse mare. Um, And I don't know what this this client is going to do with her, obviously, but I'm going to assume he might breed her, he might show her again. He had a lot of options with this mare. Thank you, Mark, for your time and for all of the help you've done with Connect. Yep, thank you. Ben Miller is another one of our Connect phone bidders, and he also buys and sells horses at auctions, and this is his first year attending the Mid-America sale. So, Ben, when you buy a horse and it goes home with you, how long do you typically keep it? I think the longest I ever had a horse was a year. Most of the time, an average of uh, three to four months, and then I resell them again. Why do you resell them? Is there any Um, reason? Hobby. I enjoy it, like going to horse sales. So do you have any horses that you've ever kept longer than that, or none of them have ever made the cut and they're more fun to sell? Yes, never longer than a year. Awesome. Thank you. I'm standing here with lot Double H, Hard Rock Image, owned by Richard Slagle. This horse was in the preview earlier today. If you missed out, check out our YouTube channel to see the full video. 
This was only day one of the Mid-America Trotting Sale. Okay. Tune in tomorrow, Friday, December 30th, to see day two, the final day. Thank you for watching.